Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It is 6.30 in the morning. It's a Monday morning. So right now, my girlfriend's actually staying with me. And it's actually been a great help. So I'm actually doing my gym in the morning versus the afternoon, just depending on how my day plays out. Plus, we have Spanish at 10 a.m. So I thought I'd do like a day in the life of what my life is like. I actually started at 5 a.m. this morning. Uh, I already started some laundry, tidied my room, did my morning affirmations, actually updated my planner, wrote in my journal because I've slacked on my journal. So this is kind of like a restart day for me, but that's pretty much what the week is. So let's go to the gym. <laughs> back in the car we were only here for about an hour i just literally did cardio today on the treadmill on a high incline with the sauna that's it i just took a week off of the gym because my body has been feeling so tired and it's not from working out i feel mentally tired just and, and let's be real there's a lot going on and i feel like as a parent like i'm a mama bear so i feel like i take on anything that's trying to come for me or my child or my family you know and i just have to you know it, it wears on you like you're human so that's why i said you got to hang up them super coats sometimes so we're gonna go back into just really light working out a lot of reps uh, the eating's not even been bad, but I definitely need to up my nutrition. So I'm actually gonna, I'm thinking of ordering a juice right now. And I actually still have time because my girlfriend is gonna be leaving to work. And then my son has school at 10 a.m. online. He's doing Spanish class. So yeah, let's do that. We're gonna go to Walmart and we're gonna go, we're gonna order a juice. Let's go. So I have like three minutes until I get my drinks. So I ordered a greenie from Nectar. I'll show it to you what it looks like. And I just feel like my body just needs a boost. And this is like the best way to do it. I used to be this girl that is like, oh, I got to get up and have my eggs and my bagel and my oatmeal and whatever. And that was actually putting a lot more weight on me. So changing this lifestyle, which I'm actually going to do a day in my life, like also what do I eat, how I keep up with my body. Because seriously, your girl goes hard from 5 a.m. to like late at night. That's just the way I operate. And I think a lot of it, 90% is what I consume in my body. My supplements, my water, my rest, uh, my mental, just everything. But I just want to say this too, like I don't take this life for granted at all. I never wanted to be a stay at home parent, like let alone doing homeschool, you know, and but with everything that's been going on, I just feel so fortunate that God gave me the wisdom, the patience, the love and the opportunity because it's an opportunity. I know there's a lot of people out here that are struggling, that have to go to work, that have to do what they have to do to make ends meet. So to be able to do this for another child also that's not mine and the way her mother trusts me, it's just my sole purpose. Like it feeds my soul. It does not matter what time of the day it is. Tell me there's not like your local Walmart's not always lit. Like this one's like a club, like not even playing. And then on the weekends, like people be coming out here and playing jazz music, like it be getting lit. But we're gonna go to the neighborhood one. I actually have to get a couple things from my gym bag because it's that time of the month. Sorry guys, but duty calls. But yeah, let's go get our drink. It's ready. Yeah, pick up for Adrian. Yeah. I think it's the greenie. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I'm having. Oh, perfect. I'm having a productive morning. So I was That's like, so your girl good needs some hear. nutrition. Something healthy for you. I know. Thank you. Have a good day. It's right here. I know sometimes people are just like, how could you drink that? I've been doing juices for years. But I will give you a tip. If you're like, I need more greens, but I just can't drink it raw with the kale and spinach, add some pineapple. That's my number one secret. Or if you don't like pineapple, add strawberry, add kiwi, 
add a juicy fruit that you enjoy. It's not gonna kill your vibes. Let's go to Walmart, we're here. Tell me you love America without telling me you love America? Me. My son loves those. So my girlfriend's daughter is with me a lot. So, and she likes cereal, so I have to get her some milk. Malika stopped drinking cereal, or drinking cereal, eating cereal, and just milk in general after he was, what, one and a half? So yeah, should I just give her a box of Jesus? Yeah, because we're probably gonna eat them all. Moderation, you guys, moderation. They definitely don't eat no damn cookies. My auntie's birthday is tomorrow, so I figured her also a card. At least a card, and then I know I was gonna get flowers for her. I will... It's kind of sensitive too, because it's like her. Oh, it's actually her second holiday where without her husband, he died last year of cancer. My uncle Daniel. So I'm just like, Can you give somebody. Like she really doesn't want or need anything, but I'm still gonna bring something to her. Who is buying all the pizza burritos? So I'm that girl that'll literally buy the entire box. I'm gonna fill this up and take this. Yep, we're gonna just take all these because Robert eats them all. And they're completely plant-based, super delicious. They taste like real ones, you guys. These are like my go-to. Oh my gosh, you know what, this looks good. We're gonna get one of these too, just to try. Ultimate plant chicken, pa oh my gosh, I need hamburger buns, you guys, and I was just in the front, damn it. We'll throw these. So there is some breakfast burritos I like. They don't have the ones I want, but we're just gonna get a couple. These are always good to have for this like busy, chaotic morning. All right, so I eat really good, but there's just always like, you know, maybe like every couple weeks I want something dirty. This is my dirty. I do a lot of vegetables. They don't have small bags. This is five bucks. We're just gonna take this one. over why are you guys paying full price y'all should be like 50 cents like for reals so with everything being so expensive there are other places i go to buy cheaper like bread eggs i'll definitely show you that within time you know i'm actually reorganizing bits of my kitchen but this looks really cool because i have some long shelves under my, my bar you'll see but this is only 12 bucks. I wonder if I should get it. And if it doesn't work, I can bring it back. I think we're going to get this. So I'm going to try this. Trust me. I got a bunch of crap for days. We're going to try it. I actually really want to wait till after the holidays. But I do want to change out how I have like my snacks. Because I do have them in these other containers I got at TJ Maxx. These are the ones I usually use. They're cheaper here than they are at Bed Bath. That's for sure. But I want to get some more. We're just getting a little inspo. We're going to stick to the list today. First week of November. Christmas is here. I'm not a Grinch, you guys. I just feel like we should have turkey first. So depressing. Look how much cheaper. You know, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm gonna put this on there too. I've actually used B10. It's really nice. It's nothing too crazy. It gives you a nice light coat. I'm gonna put this in my giveaway. Oh, you guys, these are a steal. I'm gonna get a couple of these. What does it say? You've got your back. What is this one for? Tan applicator. Okay, we're gonna get both of them. This is what I came for. It looks like they don't have any isolate. No. I'll probably have to look online. If you don't know me, I like my hot Cheetos, but these, I want to try these. Oh, but do they have cheese in them? I'll defeat my purpose. Never mind. Can't eat them. So I forgot one thing. I'm gonna get that real quick, and then we're gonna check out, and we are all done. I already know it's over like 120 bucks. I already know it. I know it. I know it. I do it all the time. This 
So we are back from the store. It is about 9.45. We have about 15 minutes until Spanish starts. The homegirl's here with her baby. Don't mind her, but we can't show her face due to work. Work can't know. Or can't know anything we'll just say that so we'll catch you guys up later what we're doing and uh maybe around noon hopefully my hair will be coming uh -oh. good job take off all the Bye. halloween decorations we actually just did a lesson I'll show you real briefly what I did with him today, just so you can kind of get an idea. So today, um, I just did a couple sheets because he had Spanish class, so I didn't want to be like overbearing. So it's a tracing sheet, and then he actually has to write the, the word itself. So these are the sight words that we're working on. So I keep it brief, just do like two to three sheets, some matching, and then I actually cleaned up and updated my entire area right here. So... It might look kind of crazy, but you know what? It, it, it looks way better than what it was. So now they're gonna do activities right now. So these are my sons. These are blue light glasses. So if he does do any tablet time or if he's gonna be on class, whatever, I don't mind. I put these on him. You can get them on Amazon for $12. So they did their learning and now they are doing I some... want green. We're a little late on these, but El Dia de los Muertos was you know. I want to do this. Last week, but you know, we're going to go. Yes, go ahead. Very nice, Leela. I'm going to do her teeth like this. She got some nice teeth. She got a nice grill. So we still haven't combed my hair yet, but it's cool. We're having a great productive day, but I want to show you something. You guys know I'm really active with the gym. So every week I usually go through my gym bag Sometimes I have like spare clothes I didn't wear or I just have like a, cra a couple random shirts. I usually wash them and then I always have extra towels. So I just make sure my gym bag's up to part, deodorant, uh, lady essentials, charge my beats. And usually too when I go into the gym also, uh, this is my gym bag. Don't y'all like it? Team USA. So if I'm bringing like my weight belt and like wrist guard and certain things, I just carry this in there with me. If it's just going to be something light, I'm already wearing my gear. I just have it. I just thought I'd show you too. These are some of my chains. I thought these are super cute. But yeah, I'm actually going to restock on my, my bag. So once they're, they're, they're actually in their plane right now and they're doing their activity. So I'll just run a couple loads of laundry and prep all this. I actually do need to wash my gym shoes, you guys. Ugh. I really should just do it today because we have some sunlight. So yeah, I might have to do this. And I wash them with cold water and baking soda. So clearly it is getting dark. It's already five o'clock, but you know what? We had such a productive day. I'm going to be honest. I used to be very like, oh, I hate Mondays, but you know what? It's all your mindset and how you move and how you start your day. And this is probably the hardest time for me to stay motivated for my personal goals, along with things that I'm working on outside of my personal life. So since it is the beginning of the month, you guys, this is today's November 8th. I don't know when to upload this. Maybe I'll upload it before the week. I don't know. Anyways, but just to close this video out, just to show more what I did the rest of the day. So I usually do laundry in between whatever I'm doing with the kids. I also do touch on finances. I always have my wallet and my planner kind of together. I am also looking for a new dentist. My girlfriend actually recommended me her place. So I called today, sent all the insurance information, made sure Malia's appointment, like her shots are up to date. Just personal appointments, just catching up with everything along with we recently had some jobs that I booked here. Just like some people came and worked on the house. I had the carpets clean. I was looking for pro-America businesses. I actually wrote all their info down. So I actually like to write them quality reviews. That's what today emphasizes along with just anything miscellaneous. I also had some packages I had to send out. So that's what Monday pretty much consisted for me. Also Robert and I tag team. So sometimes I would take Malachi or if I have Lila with me, whatever the case is, we'll take him to the park. But today he was like, hey, when I get home, I'm gonna take them to the park. You finish doing what you're doing. And usually it's like, I'll finish laundry. And did I, since I did a meal prep on Sunday, I don't make dinner tonight. There's food in there, it's all prepped. They could eat what they eat. And that's pretty much it. We don't live this typical lifestyle, no shading to anybody, but it's just not realistic for me to make food every single day. And we eat like bodybuilders. That's the lifestyle we do live. So I'll make so much. And then like every couple of days I'll make an actual dish. So 
there's food in there so i'm gonna call it an early evening i'm literally just gonna try and unwind get them get them situated because the time change bruh they're waking up at 5 a.m wanting breakfast i'm like no you don't you can watch bubble guppies anyways i hope you guys enjoyed a day in my life it's not always like this every day every week it's something different and with me sometimes for me i don't think it's healthy for us as human beings to get so caught up with we have to stick with the routine with the work with the laundry with this 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 and even kids too it gets routine i think it's great to break the routine and do things out of the norm most people work during the week right and then we'll have the weekends off or vice versa so sometimes i like to go and have like a casual dinner date with somebody i haven't seen in a while or robert will want to go shooting with a buddy or whatever the case is if we could tweak it during the week that's exactly what we do and it just it just i feel like it's just healthier just for you and your mental health where you're not feeling so enslaved and consumed with what you have to do in your everyday life you know even if it's even if it's like ordering takeout on a Tuesday and we usually do it on the weekends, like it's stepping out of what everybody else is doing. It's okay to walk something different. It's okay to break the cycle. It's okay to just, it's okay to walk a different road. You have to do what's best for you. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, leave me any comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see, suggestions and content, drop them in the comment description box. Okay. Until the next one.